Welcome to the next video of separation techniques. In this video, we're going to very quickly learn about the first separation technique, probably the easiest one also, separation by magnetism. Or sometimes you may be referring to it as magnetic separation. The idea of separation by, by magnetism is that you want to separate things that are magnetic from things that are not magnetic. For example, let's say I have this mixture over here. This is a mixture of iron paper clips, which is magnetic in nature, as well as sand that is non-magnetic in nature. If I were to hover a magnet above it, several things can happen. The first and most obvious thing that you can think of is that the magnetic iron clips will be attracted to the magnet. And in doing so, I've separated this mixture into two things, right? Purely just the iron paper clips and as well as the sand, they've been separated. This is only possible because one of the substance is magnetic and the other substance is non-magnetic. Let's look at another example. Let's say I have a mixture now of sand as well as aluminium paper clips. So question for you, if I were to hover this magnet above this mixture of aluminium paper clips and sand, will I be able to separate this mixture? Have a think. Okay, the answer is no, I will not be able to separate this mixture because the sand is non-magnetic and the aluminium clips are also non-magnetic. And so you see, the only way magnetic separation will come in useful is if one of the substances is magnetic, the other one is non-magnetic. That way I can really do some separation. Let's look at this third and final example. Here I have nickel coins as well as iron paper clips. Oops, iron with an O. Iron paper clips. If I hover this magnet above this mixture of nickel coins and iron paper clips, will I be able to separate the iron from the nickel? Have a think. Uh, the answer is no. If I were to hover this magnet above the paper clips and the coins, both will be attracted to the magnets. Um, why? Because both of them are magnetic in nature. And so, at the end of the day, you have to think when you want to use magnetic separation. I can only be able to separate if one of the substance is magnetic in nature and the rest is non-magnetic in nature. Because if all the substances are non-magnetic, the magnet won't be useful. If more than one of the substances are magnetic, then hovering a magnet over the mixture will just attract out both of the substances that are magnetic. So um, it's not a blanket case of when you, you want to use magnetic separation. Don't always just use it when you see magnetic substances. You must be sure that only one of the substances that you want to separate has the property. Right, and that's all for magnetic separation. Now next video, we're going to talk about filtration. Thank you.